Here it is. My first attempt at drawing the Matthews lift of 80 pounds. What's the worst that could happen? What's going on guys? Welcome on into Faith Hunters. So this is one of those videos we're making just to see if I can do it. So as y'all know, I've shot Hoyt for the last 10 years. I got myself a Matthews lift 33 and it's brand new out. And so when I went to Shields to buy it, they didn't have any mods. It's kind of, you got a bow that they had on the shelf. Luckily, with the release I use, I'm a 29 inch draw, 70 pound mods were on it. I made that work, hunted with it this weekend. But I see the 80, I've heard the reviews on the 80, it's like, can I shoot 80 pounds? Well, I found some mods on eBay. And so this is, again, I was shooting, grab an arrow here. I shoot about 65 pounds and then watch the videos and realize that I was drawing my bow wrong. And also, I've been, can't tell it right now, but promise you, you will, been working out. I'm trying to lose weight, trying to get in shape. And so this bow is actually set up at 70 pounds. One of the reasons that I loved it is that when I went to Shields and bought it, it's just nice, easy, good back wall, 70 pounds. I can make that work and be just fine. Letting down doesn't kill me, but I want to put the 80 pound mods in and see if I can even draw it back and have some fun. So let me show you how you do the mods. For those of you who don't know, as again, I'm a new to Matthew, so I didn't know I had to Google it, but let me show you what that is. Put the 80 pound mods in. Let's see what happens. All right. So what we have here is our, again, these are official tissue. These are Matthew's switch X mods. Now they changed this with this new cam. And so I'll actually show you, these actually go on the bow a little different. If you've ever done switch weights, the originals they had, and I'll show you, obviously I'll show you the closeness here when we put them in, but I love this because I don't need a bow press the mods. You know, you've all heard the mumbo jumbo. The mods are preset to be the most, but on these mods, they have two holes. One is here and one is down on the inside. And I'll show you that on the bow. But we got to get these lined up, figure out which one is our top and our bottom, and then we're going to put them in. So without further ado, let's get to installing these. All right. So again, we just got our bow just laying down. The only tool you need is, I guess this is the archery one, but you know, it's an Allen key and it is a 530 seconds. You can see you've got two 530 second screws that hold the mods in and they have screws with Loctite, the new Matthews. Switch X, it comes, you see the Loctite on the screws. But the way you line it up is this little Allen head that sits here on the outside. You can tell with the new mod that that is on the outside. So that is how you line them up because originally, you know, if you take this, if I can show you this, you know, you can make the bottom one the same shape, but if you look, that Allen head is now on the inside. We don't want that. We want that on the outside. And so what we're going to do is take out these two screws. Yeah, you know, again, they have some Loctite on them, but I don't think they're anything spectacular. I need this one handed, always fun. That one's going to be fun to get back in there. That one is down in the, in the little, in the hole there. All right, so we know that one's loose. this one out all right so what i'm gonna do is use both of my hands here to get this uh screw out all right so what i'm gonna do and i'll throw the link for this little archer's tool and little magnet set but throw a magnet in there and now you pull your old screws out like i said if you were going to reuse those which i think you could you would just have to put a little bit of loctite and then you take your mod and it just kind of rotate, rotate out and there it is. And you can see there's a groove that goes on that cable. So there it is. You know, see if I can show you here, 70 pounds F, which is 29, 80% let or 85% uh, let off. I'm a wuss. I ain't gonna lie. And you take your other one and you just kind of spin it in to line up your holes. Like I said, you're gonna want it to go 
on that cable. All right, this is going to take two hands, but that's how it goes in. You slide it in there and put the screws in, and I'll show you once it's installed. All right, it is now installed. Again, there's my 70 pound. I'll keep that with the screws. All I had to do to get those screw holes lined up was just put slight pressure right there on the bottom, and it pushed it right into place. Then I put that screw, then I put that screw. Again, they're not holding any weight. You don't have to just be He Man, Hooper He Man torque. You can do that for the 80 pounds. But just get them in there, get them in there snug. They got the Loctite. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the bottom, and we'll see what happens. All righty, so everything's installed. Grab our arrow here for wall protection, bow protection. I'm going to use a uh, draw gauge so we can hang on to this. Here it is. My first attempt at drawing the Matthews lift 80 pounds. What's the worst that could happen? Holy shnikes. Man, that wasn't near. <laughs> that was near, but right there, if you can see it, eh, 79.72 pounds. Never drawn an 80 pound bow in my life. <laughs> and man, I was ner I have to say, man, that would, I need to get stronger. I need to work on me. That's the whole point. But I just thought that it was gonna be, you know, you've seen you know, Cam Haynes guys, I'm not trying to shoot 90 pounds. It's the son who's a world champion. It's ain't, ain't that, it ain't like that. And at 286, which is what I am at 70 pounds, I gotta figure it's gonna push these 460 grain arrows every bit of 300 feet per second. They're at 286 now. So, man, let's, uh, let's uh, wrap it up and give a little conclusion and uh, my thoughts on this whole ordeal. All right, so after action, honest review. I looked back at the footage and I noticed two things. One, I think I was so nervous about 80 pounds that you saw that I went straight draw instead of how you're supposed to draw and it was still easy. I mean, <laughs> easy being a relative term. I can see how I could actually, Joe Schmo fat guy, Faith Hunters, who was losing weight, we got exercise videos coming, I could see how I could rock an 80 pound boat and like it. It wasn't uncomfortable. I don't have any arm shoulder pain. I was literally thinking I was just gonna be, you know, you could almost see in the video of me flinching. But again, I found 80 pound mods. Nobody could get them. I found them on eBay. I threw them in. I'll keep the 70 pound mods. I'll probably do an update video at some point on how this turns out. But man, 300 feet per second, 460 grain arrow, 80 pound mods. Uh, it's pretty cool. So I'll keep you posted. Talk to you soon.